What if your AI agents could do more than just read text? What if they could see and read documents? In this video, I'll show you how to give your agents sight by bringing multimodality to Agent Force with a new feature from Prompt Builder. We'll build a solution that automatically creates expense report items just by looking at images and PDFs of receipts. While we're focusing on expense reports, you can use the same approach to have an agent troubleshoot a customer issue from a screenshot or analyze a PDF contract. Here we have a custom expense report record for a couple of team dinners. You can see two attached files, an image of one receipt and a PDF of another. Normally, you would have to open each file and create an expense line item manually. But with multimodality, Agent Force can do this for you. I'll just ask my employee agent to create the expense line items from the receipt images and files. And there you have it. Our expense report is generated in seconds. So how did the agent do that? It used a custom multimodal action that we built. Let's walk through how to create that action starting in Prompt Builder, the tool we use to invoke large language models on the Salesforce platform. It lets us combine records, text, and now files as context for a large language model. Navigate to Prompt Builder and create a new template and select the Flex template type. The Flex template can be invoked by agents, Apex, and flows. Add a file input that takes in the file object. This represents the PDF or image file. Next, add in free text inputs for the task, optional context, and desired output format. These three inputs are the key to making this a general purpose action. By defining the task, context, and output format at runtime, the agent can use the same action for many different jobs like summarizing a PDF contract, describing a product from an image, or in our case, extracting details from a receipt. In the prompt template workspace, configure the template to use a multimodal model like OpenAI GPT-40 Mini. You can check whether a model is multimodal by clicking on the model limitations. Multimodal models accept images and PDF inputs. In the template, specify the file type using the file inputs metadata. Include the task, add the optional context, and conclude with the desired format. If you're interested in the full template, you can find a link to it in the description below. To test the template, click test inputs and add a file, a task, optional context, and the desired output format then click preview. In the resolution, you can see the inputs as well as the attached file. In the preview, you can see the response. Now, technically you can use this prompt template as an agent action, but I've found that when it comes to agent actions, it's easier to work with record IDs than records themselves. So I'm gonna wrap this prompt template in an auto launched flow. Let me explain why this is a best practice. By using a flow, the agent only needs to provide a simple file ID. The record does the heavy lifting of fetching the complete file record before passing it to the prompt. This makes our agent action simpler, more reusable, and easier for the agent to call in a plan. The auto launched flows variables include inputs for the prompt template, a record ID input for the file ID that we want to process, and an output variable for the prompt response. The flow itself has two elements. First, it retrieves the file record using the record ID input. Next, it runs the prompt using the file record, task, optional context, and desired format inputs, and assigns the prompt response to the output variable. We can create an action using our flow in Agent Force assets. Add instructions for the action as well as its inputs. Finally, add the newly created action to your agent. Your agent is now ready to accept images and files as visual context. Now that we've built and configured our query image or file action, let's see how the agent uses it in a step-by-step -step plan. To simplify testing, I've applied preview conditions to set the record context to my expense report record. Now let's review what our agent did. First, it uses the get file records action to get the IDs of our two receipts. Then it iterates or loops through that list. For each file ID, it calls our query image or file action, passing in the file, the task description, and other contacts. 
The action then returns the extracted data and the agent creates the line item. With Prompt Builder, you can now give your agents the benefit of visual context to power a new class of automations. Create a prompt template using a model that supports file inputs, build it into an agent force action, and assign it to your agent. This crucial capability allows you to build agents that can see screenshots, parse images, and analyze documents, enhancing the capabilities of your service and employee agents. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. To stay up to date with the latest in Agent Force and Salesforce development, subscribe to the Salesforce Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.